are back from the bye and back here at practice. This time we've got cornerback at Kwan Williams here in the Ford Bronco. Kwan, appreciate you joining me today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. How you doing? Feeling good. Feeling good yeah. after the bye? Yeah, feeling, feeling real good. Rested, ready to go. Shall we go for a drive? Sure, let's do it. All right. Back from the bye, feeling arrested. Did you get to go anywhere, do anything? Uh, I just went to Florida, went back to, Florida? yeah, that's okay. where I stay in the off season, so I got to spend oh. some time. Are you from I'm, Florida? You're from Florida. No, nah, I'm from no. New Jersey, oh, but Jersey. spent time with my family. Oh, that's nice. Good yeah. weather down there. Yeah, beautiful and sunny. Better than it is here again for winter. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Juan, what's the mood been like this week here at practice, coming off a win in London, coming off the bye, everyone feeling good? Yeah, just being refreshed, just being able to uh, sharpen our tools and uh, excited for this week coming up versus Titans, and hopefully we get a dub. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know it's been a couple weeks now, but we have to talk like, about that game in London. Mm -hmm. Your you know, game ceiling interception, your first one as a Bronco. Yeah. How, uh, how good did that feel? Uh, it was amazing, you know, just to be able to make it uh, play for the team. You know, we've been fighting all year, just to be able to make a great play like that to capitalize that win right there was uh it was good just uh an excitement in the uk was just a lot especially with the fans oh, yeah. out there yeah, so it was there exciting were a ton of broncos fans out there yes it was it was cool no oh, okay one we heard this week you know russell wilson he said that london was kind of a really big moment for this team mm -hmm. why do you think that is something you know just switch out there uh you know just us being together and yeah. you know being out in a whole nother country and then just being the guys sticking together and just fighting through and getting a dub at the end, you know, just made it much more special. Yeah. yeah. Okay, man, I know you've been playing with that club on your wrist for yeah. a couple weeks now. Mm -hmm. Have it on right here after practice. What's it been like playing with that thing? I can't even imagine. Uh, I've been playing with it since week two, so it's just kind of yeah, just yeah. kind of adjusting to it, just for being sure. adaptable and just being able to make plays and uh, just finding find ways to just work around it and just yeah. uh, be effective at the same time. Yeah, what challenges come with? playing with that? Uh, you know, sometimes tackling every now and then, uh, just, but after a while you just get used to, you know, be able to use your hands the correct way and just, um, just trying to make plays with it, just be as, as efficient as possible. Well, it didn't hinder you at all in that interception. No, 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 you know. I know you said it's been, you know, you suffered that in week one, right? Though. Yeah, week one, yeah. yeah. How's your wrist doing now? Oh, it's good. Better? It's getting better. Slowly and surely, I might have to get this thing off in a few weeks, but, yeah. you know, for the time being, it is what it is, and I just got to adapt and make plays with it. Okay, when we're entering, you know, the second half of the season here, mm -hmm. week 10, you know, do you have any goals for yourself for the rest of the year here? Uh, just winning. I just yeah. want to win, you know, no matter what it looks like, you know, I just go out there and compete at the highest level and uh, hopefully we just finish strong at the end of the, end of the season. Yeah, I mean, you got another tough matchup coming up this mm -hmm. weekend. You guys hit the road in just a couple of days now to head to Nashville. Mm -hmm. What excites you about this trip and as you guys start the second half of the year here? Uh, you know, just coming off the bye, you know, guys, uh, Guys are excited, guys are refreshed, so just being able to go out and uh, get a road win would be great for this team, you know. We've been putting a lot of work this week, so it should be fun. Yeah, going to be a tough one Yeah. Uh, with Derrick Henry. Mm -hmm. How is this defense just going to approach trying to slow him down? Uh, all 11 guys got to get to the ball, and we just got to corral this guy, you know. Just all of us working together, and not, not one person is going to be singled out there. We just all make plays and make tackles on the ball. Have you been to Nissan Stadium before? Have you played there before? Yes, I've been there yeah. before, a couple times. What's the atmosphere like for some of our Broncos fans who might not know? Uh, it's pretty. It was pretty live when I went there twice. Yeah. I went there last year uh, with San Fran, and uh, I played one time in, uh, in Cleveland. Uh, it's been. It's always exciting playing there. Well, I know you know Ryan Tannehill. He's been out the past couple weeks, been sidelined with that ankle injury, and we've seen you know rookie quarterback um, Malik Willis step up. Mm -hmm. What's kind of been the challenge this week in preparing for you know two different quarterbacks? Uh, you just got to be effective across the board in terms of stopping the run and uh, and be be on your uh, p's and q's, especially when they want to take deep shots down the field and just be effective and make plays on the ball when they're trying to attack us deep. Okay, one. Well, I know this is your first year here in Denver. Mm -hmm. How are you liking it? I'm loving it. You know, just yeah, loving it. Just adapting, getting to know the guys, getting to know the scheme, and just uh, I'm just loving the area, loving the uh, loving the weather. Even though it's starting to get cold, but I still I <laughs> it's been nice. I'm not ready for winter yet. Yeah. Okay, you know, this defense has just been so good from the get-go this mm -hmm. season. You guys seem like such a cute, cohesive group. Mm -hmm. Where do you think that stems from? Just, you know, you guys in the locker room and how close you all are? Or? Yeah, I think just from OTAs, you know, a lot of guys were locked in, buying into the scheme and learning and just being adaptable and uh, soaking up the knowledge from Coach E. And uh, guys just playing together and just wanting to uh, make plays for the team. I love it. Yeah. I know you guys, you guys are wearing the white jerseys, blue pants again mm -hmm. this week. Is that something you guys voted on? Did you like, do you guys like that look? I didn't vote on it, but no. I do like the look. I, I do like, like the blue pants. Yeah, I like the blue cool. pants. It's, it's a nice change up. Yeah. yeah. 
And you guys won in London yeah. last night. Got to keep that going. Right. Because they're undefeated in that uniform. Mm -hmm. I love it. Well, excited to see you guys back in that on Sunday. Mm -hmm. K1, appreciate you joining me today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.